Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. Guys, welcome to another podcast. And just before we get into this absolutely juicy one with Ben Morris, we have got our homies over at BetBall. And of course, the goals, Chip, man. they're backing us again. And this time, they're not just boosting the odds. Yeah, they're giving us a fantastic offer. And that offer is new users can now get 30 pounds of free bets when you spend 10 pounds. Wow, that's that- good. I love a free bet. And I'll tell you what, every now and then I place uh-huh. a bet. And it comes through. I swear, do you remember our betting thing we did? Yes, the challenge we did. Yeah, and I put two quid on. What did I do? Rashford score first. United to win 3-1. I won won the whole tournament. Off of that one bet. On £2 bet. Phenomenal. So let me tell you, if you want to follow a bet, Maybe we're the boys. Yeah, maybe Cal. This weekend we have got some juicy sport chip. We have got the North London Derby. Can't go wrong with that. We've got Chelsea versus City. <sighs> That's a big one, by the way. The Ryder Cup for all you Ooh, golfers yes, out sir. there. And for the boxing fans out there, we have got AJ versus Usyk as big well. One, another big one. So we've we've got we've got some mega ones now. Who are you guys backing on your ACA? Because let me tell you, this is what we're going with, okay? We're going Spurs. We're going Southampton. We're going RB Leipzig. And then to wrap it all up, we're going Augsburg as well. So those, are the, those are the four that we've gone for, right? And they've boot- boosted it, sorry, by 15%. Right. <sighs> Thank you, Betbull. You see, Betbull are always showing us love right um so they've backed that really nicely so if you put a tenner on you'll actually get back 570 big fat squids that is that's a fight squid by the way to anyone that was going to be confused by that that's but. okay man we got you and of course like i said guys if you are a new user you will get that brand new offer of if you spend 10 pounds you get the free the 30 pound free bet which is absolutely amazing it is important to note that this boost will be available on friday for a thousand people so keep that in mind keep an eye out for it on friday as well and um look as always it's 18 plus chip and mm-hmm. what do they need to you do need to they- gamble responsibly take mm-hmm. care of your money make sure you're aware of the money that the you're fun. spending yeah, yeah, just, yeah just have fun with just it just have fun with it and don't let it go past that. and leave it, don't it don't at that. exactly that. so anyway shout out betball as always guys link in the description get in the mixer <laughs> welcome back it is episode number 14 Seven. How do you say seven in Italian? Oh, you're asking the wrong man. Sete. 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 That's it. Forty-sete. Right, Forty-seven. Anyways, um, we are here and we are joined by the wonderful Ben Morris. How are things going with you, bro? Yeah, it's good, man. I'm no. good. Well, you only you, you're the only person to get a clap. I'm not gonna lie. When uh, your friend Millie was on, yeah. the the whole audience cheered. It Where was, is the audience? Unfortunately, yeah, they all. Normally, I was there's, expecting, a, normally like, there's a big, big team. audience. I can't. I can only see one person. Nah, they've all they've all gone to yeah. work. I don't know if I was supposed Their to bring actual jobs. people with me or something. Yeah, no. You, well, usually, you see, where's your what, like an entourage? You see, what like, I've I've seen at, at Wireless, these rappers are bringing like four dons with he them. He did text me saying, "Can I have security to come through London?" I was, was just taking the piss out yeah, of Yeah, he was like, "Oh, East London." <laughs> that's it. That's well, you it. live out in West as well. Yeah, very long away. Whereabouts in West? Ealing. 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 Can you get Bro, a postcode? That's, that's out in the, <laughs> the flat number. It's nice, so it's like a town. I don't, I don't like it's really like city life. There's trees. We have trees. No, that is nice. And you can actually use a car there. Yeah, you can do park you drive? On the streets. Yeah, I drive all the time. What car do you drive? Just a one series. Just a one series. Was it is that a BMW it, then? Yeah, BMW. I don't like BMW. Is it the new one? Is it the new one or the old or the old one? The new one or the old one? The, 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 the new one or the old one? Um, it's like 2016. There you go, Chip. What yeah. does that mean to you? I was just wondering because the new one's nice. It's not that old. It's not. That I like old. the new. I like the back of the new one. What happened to that whip that you bought? I think it was a Jaguar or something. Oh, this is a good the, story. You bought a Jaguar. Okay, so yeah. I actually have four cars. Oh! <laughs> 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 um, Ready, little baby. So I have my main car, uh-huh. little BMW One Series. Yep. Cheap petrol. Diesel gets you A to B. Get your burner car. It's nice and um, incognito. Uh-huh. Haven't been pulled over in it once. Lovely. Okay, so that's car one. Yeah, yeah. Car that's, two. Uh, car two got a 2003 BMW convertible. Ooh, I feel like, like I've seen that. Old school I have seen that. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So like do you that. bust that out for like the sunny day? It was supposed to come out for the summer, but it was a bit broken. And it's still broken. I can't be asked to get it fixed. To be honest, it's so really? long. Really, it's so long. That's, Honestly, that's the problem with buying old cars. Though. If you want lots of cars, don't do it. Where the fuck <laughs> do, do you, it? Like do, it's the worst. Do you have thing. parking for all these cars? Oh, this is the other point as well. <laughs> so then I have a little Mini Cooper S, which I bought like a year ago. That seems sick. 
Yeah. It's, Why is it not your day? Right, right. So this is manual. Okay. Oh no. You can't I, drive manual. I had a manual test booked for like, I can't remember, like a couple months after I bought the car uh-huh. and fucking COVID. And I still haven't done the test yet, so. So what, you only have a license for automatic cars? Yeah, so I, I did an intensive course like a week after I turned 17. Uh-huh. And I had three tests in that month and failed them all. <laughs> oh, like, man. I all manual all, tests yeah all manual tests so uh-huh. I, I can drive a manual but then like come nine months later i was like fuck it i'm gonna do it in my mum's car yeah. because i couldn't afford more manual lessons right so i just got insured in my mum's car and just did the test in her cars like, and it was an London. automatic car i'm gonna get yeah. an automatic there's no point and now i really like cars i want a, like a classic car yeah they're all manual so i'm having to do it's a manual struggle. test again so have you got that booked in now then yeah like 28 they'll never catch like you though man so what no, so they won't they won't so what's this about the jaguar then oh and the jaguar so my my, my convertible's at millie's house my mini's just in the tesco car park they've put like stickers on it saying they're removing it like four times over now okay so every time i get home i'm waiting for it just not to be there one day uh-huh. but it's still there and the jaguar is like in my underground car park which is now a construction site so it is completely stuck down there well like actually it's stuck. like it's that it, it's not getting it's not cemented down but it can't get out for like the next few months um, and they keep asking me to move it because I'm postponing their building works. They're building like a massive, like, <laughs> like so 15 story building. Just in the way. And my Jaguar's just stopping You're the whole building. You're a fucking So why don't you move it? I can't, it doesn't work. Oh, it's broken. And basically I can't get a tow truck down there because the so roof small. is so low, like to get into the underground car park. So you just oh. got a bunch of broken cars. Yeah, so they're, they're telling <laughs> you, me. <laughs> what the fuck is your car so Yeah, when I say man? I have four cars, I only have one realistic. One that works yeah, properly. Yeah, one that works. One that works properly, one that you can't actually legally drive, and then two that are just broken. Yeah. That's some collection Jeez. that I like. So that's why I'm not going around being like, yeah, I got four, four cars. cars, baby. Yeah. Like, no, I've got well, one that works. You got to treasure that one series because that was there when you yeah. needed it the most. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. What else? You are not, so to people that don't know what you do, what would you say you do? You're, uh, people that don't know, you are a YouTuber, you make YouTube videos, but what what the fuck else? Uh, what is what is your YouTube videos? What do you make? To um, the people that's his brother, that's it really. <laughs> that is, that's it. People that's might it. not everyone's know waiting, that. Everyone's waiting, and I'm sure they, they probably do. I feel like your audience do. Maybe. But, yeah, yeah. Prob- they probably know. Um, no, but yeah, I just make YouTube videos, traveling, lifestyle kind of stuff, challenge stuff. Just go on Cal Freezy's channel. You do, you do, you do, you do make, you do make some of the best videos on YouTube. Nah, nah, you're gassing it. No, I swear to God, I DM'd you you and said that. I I DM'd you and I was like, by the way, just so you know, your videos are. You've been doing it for a minute. You've been making these bangers where you got to these fucking. uh, I don't want to say the one you're doing right now, but you'll just go to mad places and try and think of unique ideas, but you'll turn it into some Casey Neistat serious banger. Yeah, I try. You're I quite try. a funny guy in person, but when it comes to your videos, <laughs> they get so serious. Yeah, you like, are. And, you, and, you, and, you, and you're sat there saying... with GH5 cameras, just doing this mad cinematic shot, and I'm like, bro, this ain't I you. Just, just, I just, just can't. Put the like, camera down and chill. I don't know, man. I swear to God, like my audience is actually like 40 years old. Yeah. Right. Someone commented on my really? video yesterday saying, "Why don't you su- su- surprise a subscriber with a 2,000 pound garden makeover?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would. I'm that sorry if you're watching this. I'm sorry if you're watching this, but like. I've got a garden that needs a makeover. <laughs> ben, let's run it. Nah, but Come this guy on. probably wants me to like do the snipping, do the mowing. You can do the snipping, you can do the mowing. I, I, can, I need all that done. Well, anyways, my audience has changed from like 15 year old girls to like yeah. 40 year old men. They just love camera lenses and shit. Literally, <laughs> literally, I feel like if I'm too much of a like outgoing child, they will hate me. Really? Like You yeah. show too much personality in the video, they're like, wow, this nah. guy's a yeah, prick. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> But um, no, yeah, Josh literally messaged me saying, you're so funny in real life, but you're fucking boring in your videos. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't like, say it like that. That's brutal. I man. just said like, like, you need to let your funny side show through. It uh, seems like you're holding back a bit. Yeah, I'm not but that great. But your, your, your videos are really well put together. I think that's a good way of putting it. Like they're well yeah. put together. And do you edit your own videos? Wait till he tells you that someone does it all for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I did. What's his name, the, Larry? I, I, Larry. Larry. Is it Larry? Glenn. 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 I knew it was something weird. I'm sorry, but I've never <laughs> met anyone talented named Larry. I've never met um, anyone named after Glenn's vodka, but here we are. Glenn, tell us Glenn. about him. <laughs> this is just a <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the worst cough ever. That's all right. Yeah, I think everyone's right. I, I don't think I have last COVID. Week. I don't think so, but we, mm-hmm. yeah, we'll, 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 wait, are we meant to be testing to in this pod right now? Uh, no, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're no, we, we don't cap on this pod. I won't be testing when I get home. Um, yeah, no, I obviously used to edit everything up until like a year ago. I mean, I used to edit for Chip. 
No, yeah, you did. But, yeah, yeah, I he said did, he was chick, sick. He was sick. Joel, he was so good. Maybe Finch. Maybe like really? I can't he was, remember. He was too good for me though. I had to let him go and let. I was the Halo Tower fly, state. Man. You were sick. Really? I How was, much were you charging a video? I probably not remember. even that much, man, because you were young. Probably like six. And this was when we like weren't all making a lot of money, so it would have been like. Nah, you were making money. Yeah. You're just spending it all. That's all. Yeah, of course. You have you have genuinely influenced me to just spend all the money. I don't spend that. See, that was when I was around you when I was a child. <laughs> not pay my taxes, which I now have to do, right? Oh, you not paid your taxes? No, not yet. Oh, oh no. you're finished. I man. have three years to pay. I had yeah. to do. I, I had have, to do that. Oh, it's heavy. And it it's wasn't heavy. good. It wasn't good. It's I had so much not tax good. To pay. It's not good. You know when you think you just have like a nice amount? Yeah. Just sitting there. Just it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. It's, it's all gonna go, dumb, mate. No, you'll be all right. You'll build yeah, it back up. Fine. We're off to Dubai next year. We'll. <laughs> You're gonna yes, relo so relocate guys, to Dubai. More potholes for the UK. Mate, I swear to God, Patreon Master, you're watching this. You've you've, you've finished, finished yourself. <laughs> no, I promise, I'm paying them. Yeah, my accountants are sorting it. I think. You know, that was a big I thing, though. Think. No, no, no. But I remember, I was one of the first YouTubers to actually start paying tax. And then really? when I started asking around, I was like, "Wait, are you are you paying tax?" Well, they're they don't like, teach you like, about this shit. Tax. So a lot of people, like myself, when I was like, "Shit, I ain't paid this in a few years," yeah. then I had to pay. I was like, "Fuck, it's such a big bill." Yeah, well, I always, I always thought in my head, tax was just like when you're when you're in school, or whatever. Tax is just like a foreign concept. You don't it's actually like your realize. Your parents mention it here and there, yeah. but you ain't That's doing it. shit. You don't. Yeah, you don't really give a shit. And then. I started earning money. I was like, "Yeah, this is the life. I like this money." And then I get. Uh, I'll take half of that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take. I'll take half of that. I'll take a bit of this. Oh, and I'll have a little bit of that as well. And then I seen Alf Alfie Days posted a tweet about tax, and I was there like, oh, "I guess, I guess YouTubers probably do have to pay tax." So I, I DM'd him. I think it was him, or is it Marcus Butler? It was. Sorry, I and have I that accountant. I think. Yeah. yeah. Just, well, we had him on the podcast. Sam. Sam. I don't know. Oh, know yeah, that is my accountant. Yes. We don't really speak that much to honest. I, I try to avoid to every more. conversation possible. <laughs> the, I hate it. Yeah. Once you get that big payment out of the way, you will feel a lot better. Yeah. It's like a weight off your shoulders. Yeah. And then you book your flight to Dubai. Yeah, and then I book my flight to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. My one way. Mm. Yeah, You'll know. be chilling. You can pay it monthly. Great. Yeah. yeah. So pay if you want to get rid of it, if you don't want to see like fucking massive figure go out, you bank. Do they take one crypto? Go. Do they take <laughs> crypto? <laughs> Not yet, although they probably will soon. You just fucking awesome. bell them up, like you guys Please take help. soul. <laughs> uh, so what? Uh, your YouTube videos, a lot of it are, is traveling. A lot of it, yeah. And that those, I, I watch your traveling videos. Those mm. are my favorite ones to watch. Yeah, I, my mainly too. because I like to watch it and I go. I'll Fuck, steal I wish, that. I, I wish I want to do. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll do this do video that. idea. <laughs> yeah, I'll be that. Yeah, that's why I like that, doing I like it because. I like, I didn't used to make travel videos and I kind of realized I could just travel and make money and make yep. videos too. Yep. So now I'm just- You fucking genius. What's, it, what's your, yeah. what's your- <laughs> I, I really put the dots together, man. <laughs> um, what's your favorite travel video that you made? Um, Is there one that sticks out to you and you're like, this was fucking sick? Maybe my Bali video. I don't know if you watched that or- oh, and, and what happened, like what happened It was video? just like a solid three weeks in Bali. There wasn't even any- concept to it. It was, okay. just, it was just actually a I feel vlog. like that would take ages to edit. Oh, it took me and Glenn really? a very you long time. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn. yeah, no, yeah. I did edit a bit of that actually. I've only just stopped recently editing some of it. Like beforehand, yeah. I would always have to like tweak this, touch that, cut it up beforehand. But now I'm kind of like, mm, yeah, you can do the whole thing. Like, yeah. and it actually usually pulls through. And just means I can get right on to film the next video. It takes so yeah. much stress out of my life. What's, um, the, what's the next thing that you're doing? Um, so I actually have, Three videos filmed right now already. I just uploaded yesterday, which is absolutely stinking, by the way. What so did you upload? What did you upload yesterday? Please help him out, guys. Help him out. I was just surprised in my editor of a two thousand pound flat makeover. Yeah, ah. you know what's funny yeah. is um, my editor actually linked me the video saying this would be a great video, <laughs> and then and then I said, mate, take a look at the real time. There's no fucking way I'm yeah. doing this video. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you, I, I feel, only I feel steal like, his bangers, bro. I feel like you should have titled that "Surprise My Best Friend." No, don't say that because me and Glenn were sat in my flat yesterday and yeah. I, we were like, what should we do? Best friend or editor? Okay. And we were like, mm, editor. What was your thumbnail like? Because I've done that video before and it did all right. Might need to change it right now. Yeah. On this block, yeah. I, think I, did, I think I did it on Max. And you know what? I like... hate thumbnails. Thumbnails are the bane of my life. Like nothing it's I the hate worst more bit. than taking thumbnails. Worst bit. Yeah. Trying to figure out. Make make a whole video, but then once you've got the whole video edited, filmed, you have to make a thumbnail. Yeah. And you always leave it to the last day. And then you get the crappiest picture ever and it looks awful. Yeah, and it's, then it uh, it's always the thing with, it's the most stressful part because it's, like it's, the most it's annoying. You can make the best so video annoying. ever, but if your thumbnail and title yeah. aren't good, Literally. you've just wasted a really nice video. Yeah. Um, and I struggled with that recently when I did like my Top Gear, B-Tech Top Gear videos. Uh, like, because nobody really likes watching like car 
related stuff. Yeah, that's on why go karting videos don't bang. Cause yeah, like, nobody, like nobody really likes yeah. racing content on yeah. YouTube. And so I was there, like, yeah. this is the, both of these videos are so sick. But I was super worried that they would just flop really hard. And they didn't do like amazing, but they definitely did better than what I thought they were going to do. And I think that was because they were actually good videos. But it doesn't matter because when I got to the thumbnail and title, I was there like, what the fuck am I going to title this? Was this it, the um, car racing ones? Yeah, the ones where we took them up to a tr we customized them. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the yeah, title yeah, was, I thought, I thought it, was it was, and it, and it came to and it was those two videos are yeah. really good. But it's just that there's, they're never gonna bang because yeah, the title yeah. and thumbnail aren't amazing. They are so. good. I watched like the first two minutes. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys have like a, a plan for this podcast? Or like no, no, we, we just, just fucking bro, bring it. No, we just, just send it. Bring it. We just send it. Well, I tell you I what. I saw a I piece of paper. What, nah, there must be something different. Nah, we <laughs> did actually fucking get a little brief. Okay. Off, about your life. Alex. Uh, shall, okay. shall, 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 shall I bring it up and see what it says? We've not looked at it because we know you quite well, so we don't actually. I looked at it. You got a cat. Oh, I had a cat. You had a cat, but now the cat is in custody with your brother. Yeah, I knew no. that. No, 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 it's no. not. So see, they, they, no, that's, they bad, are, that's bad they, info right there, yeah, bro. Yeah. That, you, you need to check your I sources. I swear your brother had a cat, or did he just get... Explain, you look stressed about the situation. Uh, my... Oh, I don't actually say this online. My ex-girlfriend <laughs> owns my cat now. She owns... Oh, what? Your ex-girlfriend took you to court for the cat. No, no, no. I just straight up gave the cat. Basically, the cat was shitting everywhere. Uh huh. And I couldn't deal with it, man. And I was traveling too much. I just, I like, yeah, the, had cat, to take care the of. cat hated moving about. Yeah. And my ex was with me the whole time I, like, brought up the cat, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raised, raised it, it, raised, raised it. it. Yeah. yeah, the COVID cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> COVID cat. Cats not just for COVID. Yeah. Um, and then, so she was, like, attached to the cat. Obviously, broke up. She, like, wanted to see the cat. And I was like, nah, fuck you, you're not seeing the cat. And then eventually, I was like, Oh, it'd probably be nice for me to let see the cat. Yeah. And then like I took the cat back, went to Joel's, like Olivia looked after the cat. Oh, and then okay. I eventually had the cat back after Bali, but it was shitting everywhere. And I was just like, I don't I, have I was the about to move to a new to flat, with, like some new nice white oh, robes, like a new sofa. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, so, yeah. but the cat's alive. Yeah, the cat's got a great life. It's just with Big your house, ex girlfriend. Lots of like family members. Lovely. Yeah. It's yeah. living a good life. Mm, yeah. That's fine. I that's, hate that's cats. Good to know. It's good I, to know about a cat. I hate cats. But no, is it, Joel's got a new cat. No. No, yeah, your brother Joel. Oh, know. yeah. He, yeah. I don't know oh, that's he not healthy, thinking. though. No. That cat. That I've got to tell you a story <laughs> the last time about Joel had a pet, okay? The hamster. <laughs> the <laughs> he had a hamster. hamster. You remember when your brother had a hamster? I don't know if I do remember. Okay, so I don't know if I got Because he didn't have a hamster for very long. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the story about this hamster, okay? This is. a story, too. Okay, so. Joel somehow comes into possession of this hamster. I forget whether he found it or he Bro, bought it. He bought it from the shop. Oh, he bought, okay, so he bought it from the shop. Very small little hamster. It was tiny and fragile. Anyways, me and Gib came down one day and we, we'd heard about this hamster. So we said, right, let, let me come and see this hamster. Now, I go in, I walk into his room and the hamster's chilling and it's like just moving about. And I go to Joel like, any, any danger? Of, is it okay to come out of the, uh, the cage? And he goes... Yeah, yeah, of course, man. So he picks it up and then we're sitting on his bed. Now his bed is, I would say, it, it's, it was really high up for some reason. It was like a meter and a half. Mate, yeah, and like it was- A meter and a half? No, no, it that's was like- it was, it was, what, No, it was like, the height of this table. It was, it was legitimately really like, I don't know why, but his bed was just really high up. Okay. And, 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 we, and we, me and Gibber are sitting on this thing and the hamster's on the bed. And we think, wow, it's a cute hamster. And next thing you know, it darts underneath the duvet. We go, oh, that, that's cute. Let's play a little game of hide and seek or whatever. <laughs> so me and Gib, we, 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 we open the duvet a bit and this fucking thing, kamikaze, runs so fast out, flies off the end of the bed, right? And almost like in a cartoon, it just stopped midway in the air and dropped straight to the ground, uh, ground hits the ground. Um, and me and Gib are like cracking up thinking, oh, like he's right. And we look over, the Donny no, isn't it moving. Die. It didn't the die. Donny isn't oh moving yet. Yeah? And we're staring and we're staring at this and, and Joel goes, oh, um, uh, well, I'm gonna put him back in the cage. He picks him up and he puts him in the cage and he just leaves it there. I'm looking at Gib like, have we just watched a kamikaze hamster? Have we just watched it kill itself? No, okay. I'm, I'm looking at Gib and we're both like smirking. We're not too sure what's funny. Joel's not laughing at all. <laughs> he's watching it and we're there like, oh, I'm sure it'd be fine. He's probably just maybe like a little bit concussed or something. He'll be walking around. So we leave it there. Me and Gib, we leave the door. And for some reason, I'm crying tears of laughter because the whole situation was funny, but obviously it wasn't funny. We came back down two hours later and we asked him like, 
what is it what's the situation with the hamster is he okay and he goes well he hasn't moved but i'm thinking he's just sleeping and he's just like resting through this and it, it, he says right okay, i'm gonna i'm gonna take it to the doctors tomorrow so he, he takes it to the doctors tomorrow and he comes back and i go joel what's the update with the hamster and he just looks at me go nah, i didn't make it <laughs> You know my brother. I can't laugh. I shouldn't be laughing. <coughs> my brother used laughing. to cry when my dad would pour boiling water on ants in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> he used to start crying. What, what the fuck, fuck is, is that about, bro? Me and my dad used to just like love killing mosquitoes and like flies and shit because my uh -huh. brother would literally start crying. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you lot are a sadistic family. Are oh, you lot? What are is wrong with your family? Nah. To be fair, I can't say much. Coinbase, they're back, chip. Things you love to see. The homies over at Coinbase, um, if you guys don't know, um, I, I've been using Coinbase for years now. Mm -hmm. Right when I Spend first got minute. into crypto, yes, I used Coinbase. So I can actually personally back Coinbase as um, as genuinely one of the best crypto sites you can use. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are curious as to what exactly Coinbase are, they are a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to absolutely everyone ideal um and i know that a lot of the times when we talk about crypto i mean we speak about it almost every podcast now or at least there's a mention somewhere um and and ben as well is involved in it too um so guys i would highly recommend even just getting involved take a look at it reading into it because uh, personally i think it's the future whether you think it's a future as well, that's up to you, but it's worth looking into. Um, they offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. Millions of people in over 100 countries trust Coinbase with their digital assets. Whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with the homies at Coinbase. So for a limited time, guys, new users get five euros in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash fellas. That I'm is. sorry, Chip, we're giving them free I'm money. Sorry, we always I'm do sorry, this. I'm sorry, but if you are watching this ad read right now and you don't take advantage of this, you, then you're, you're no, killing you, us. You're, you're a, killing us. No, you're a fool. You're, uh, Chip said it, not me, guys. Look, sign up at coinbase.com slash fellas for five euros in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com forward slash fellas. It's a free five euros. Stop waiting around. Okay. On the plus yeah. side, I don't eat meat anymore. Oh, really? Are you vegetarian uh, so or vegan? Pescatarian. Oh, okay. But I definitely eat like double so the is that when you of eat fish, fish I used to eat meat, to honest. Which yeah. is just as oh, bad. I, got that I love fish. What's pescatarian? Yeah, that's where just you eat fish, fish right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Good old fish and chips. Yeah, well done. That's so mm. sick. Yeah. One sec. Oh, okay. I was joking. Oh, I love that. He's brought a chopping board. Ooh. Wait, hold on. All right, to the people listening and not watching. Oh, okay, now this is a bit sussy. Just pulled oh. out a kitchen knife. He's got a... W oh, look at that. That's a waitress. I just want to check this. This ain't something we're going to do in a toilet at 3 a.m., right? Oh my, Patron! It, it's still kind of is. Are you gonna have a shot? You still do. No, it? I can't do it, but Chip will do it with you. All right, Chip. There we go. Oh, Chip, a little, oh, mate. By the way, can I just say this, this Patron? Is, this guy is a chopping board and a line and a knife. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get a little picture of this, please. Like, if you can just, if you, can, if you guys can just like, pull, if you could just pose up here. Here we go. Wow. So he's cutting the limes up a little on the chopping one. board. L the little live one for the Instagram here. This is amazing. Um. Yeah, guys. Please don't cut your finger. Uh, this is the next guest. I've kind of spoiled it, but it, th this is the first guest that has ever brought chopping board limes and his own Patron. Um, Ooh, wow. Nice little noise. Yeah, that. Cal ain't drinking. He's doing sober set. Oh, fucking hell. Here we, oh, but, but you know what? You know what's annoying though. This is actually my favorite. Oh, mm. Seriously, I'll, I'll post that another time. It's coffee. It's coffee. Yeah, it's my no favorite. Spoilers, it's literally my favorite. I feel sorry so what, for all the Spotify what is this? listeners coffee right Patron? now. Yeah, coffee Patron. That's a big shot glass, by the way. Yeah, I'm but only... it's quite, it's not just tequila. Fucking hell. No, uh, Patron. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that you were supposed to have. Um... Hype me up, BTS. Hype me up. No, I don't think you are supposed to have lime with. No, coffee lime Patron. doesn't go with no, coffee. No, I just thought it would like, same, add to the, the thing. Add to the whole the aesthetic. We'll yeah. leave this here because it looks that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You, I don't think it's supposed to have lime with it. Chipped on us. Right, right. Well, cheers, 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 cheers. Fair play, lads. Mhm. Mm Amazing! Wow, they said that's good. You can just you can just neck mm. coffee patron like that, mm. man. I don't think you need a lime for that. No, no. but the lime good is good though. to be fair. That's amazing. Um, so like that in terms of your friend group, who do you hang around with? You you hang around with other YouTubers? You mentioned Millie. Obviously, we had her yeah, on, had on a day. podcast. So you hang around her. 
who else? Who else is in the who's who's in the squad? Um, mainly just Millie, Spencer, yeah. Kami. Yeah. Um, so same same I'm group. Trying to think, yeah, same I'm trying to think group, of any right? any. I'm like friends with like quite. A lot of people, but just yeah. not close with everyone. If you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, like yeah, I'm friendly with everyone. That's a good way to. But I just it. have my close, like yeah, you have your outer circle, yeah. like your outer circle, and you got your inner circle. There's quite a lot of drama that goes on in different groups, but really? I kind of see yeah. that's one thing. See, I feel like I don't see I, that. Anymore. I try to stay just out it's of it. A, all that's what really? I don't really that's get involved. That's that West London lifestyle, in, in, man. Yeah. Mm. So the, in our friend group, there's, there, we don't really they're have the, drama. there's no drama like you guys that. are like 27 now though. Too yeah, fair. exactly. Well, you're we 30, so I'm 27, bro. Oh, you, you actually are 27. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this Donnie's old, man. I was making a joke, but like you actually, I'm are, finished. Bro, he's crazy. don't let this guy. Bro, I'm not 27, you. bro. Though, he's 27 so. next month, and he looks the part. Bro, no, no, me no, and no. you I'm, on the other hand, young bulls living a great young life. Bulls, <laughs> young bucks. Uh, how old are you? 20. 20. Are you actually only 20? Mm -hmm. I turned 21 in like two weeks. Okay, fair. nice. Yeah. Well, that would be good because then you obviously have the whole of America to explore. Yeah. Wait, I, I have already done quite a bit of America. Joel's ID and a debit card works fine. To really? Be fair, yeah. Is that how you? Is that when how you was it? To? Where would it, I came to? Um, where? The after party after. Well, after we what? don't need to. We don't need to incriminate ourselves on on this podcast. Wow. Oh no! Of so. course I didn't. Don't, don't feel at someone's private party. Oh, I always thought you were yeah. twenty-one anyway, man. Yeah. 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 Um, but your ex-girlfriend was she a YouTuber? Yes, she was. Okay, I actually don't know who it was. No, I'm not going no, no, to no, bring no, it up. No, no. No, I won't bring it up. I was just curious. No if one she really. Was no one knows who she is. Oh, really? So. Not in the sense. Not in the sense of no. You want one me knows to get her. a title out of this motherfucker? Nah. Oh no. Oh, okay. should we let him live? I don't know. Let him decide, bro. We're not. We're not in the business of screwing. You're looking good here. today. I don't want to ruin your vibe. Yeah, yeah. He looked terrified there when you when you offered up the <laughs> the idea, but <laughs> never, never do that to you. So, are you quite private with your relationships, then? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like definitely. you. He uh, definitely wants to get straight off this subject. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. I can talk about it. No, it's private, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I'm the same. No, I don't. Me like... and Chip both actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we, we're we, we keep it private mm. too, lad. Much easier. Um, and is there a reason why you want it, why you keep these things private? Because I, I feel like the, uh, the the younger YouTubers or whatever they are almost the opposite. Yeah, I would say the younger they, they the flaunt YouTubers it on TikTok. It. They do it I think they're doing it for their benefit a lot of the time. Clout. Yeah, like there's yeah. not really much. There, well, maybe there would be benefit. There is benefit to like the trip to Maldives, but Mate, everybody knows that girlfriend having a girlfriend on the internet is easy dubs. You get it. I don't want to give dubs. myself the easier. I want to wait till you know Meet the channel. Girlfriend on the big videos, decline, always, and then we'll have to dig yeah. dig deep into the, to the, into the yeah the reserves. You make, keep making bangers. Your channel won't. So I'll clean. try. I'll try. So yeah. is that so the re the reason why you keep it private is just so you don't have to deal with the hassle? Or yeah, I don't know. You know, I think it's just like maybe if it had been a thing for a very long time and I was like yeah, and you, I'm just not seeing myself ever leaving this girl like completely yeah. for life thing. Then yeah, but I don't know. I think it gets a bit. A bit strange it gets messy. Like people start messaging one and the other like they start saying oh i saw your girlfriend doing this like this and that right yeah, like right, right. people then trying to get with that person just because they know like there's so many things which go on like i don't know and as well as that, i didn't really want to so get her loads of followers just coming from me right because she was like quite small like yeah. and i wanted her to genuinely do it herself like uh -huh. i didn't want to just give her like a bit of a platform not that i would really give her much anyways but i didn't want so her her fan to base happen. to be built off of off of your fans. Exactly. Say anything messy. was right. to happen, like it did, uh -huh. like she would have had loads of fans which just came from me, hey. which would have been like, yeah, yeah like no, it's I just a bit. I don't know. I'm not. It's not really my thing. Maybe yeah. later on, but or yeah. I feel like, like your 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 group of friends. They they are pretty private for the most part, anyways, in terms of the stuff you see online. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I'm uh, like obviously best friends with them. Yeah. I think I'm more best with the best friends with them offline. I'm not so much like in the group. No, online. you're never. If, yeah, that's actually uh, true. Um, yeah. I, Why uh, is that? Like, because you're never making that much like content or anything with them. I, but 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 behind the camera, you are actually good mates with them all, right? Yeah, yeah. I just I don't I don't use TikTok at all. Yeah. Like you uh, don't even go on it. No, literally never. That's go good on because it. it's I'll go on it every few weeks. So just to check on my friends' TikToks yeah. and then just go off. You it, you take one look at your mates and you go, why the fuck are they dancing again? Yeah, no, literally. You're literally. just logging on, hoping every yeah. time that they've moved on from the dancing, but they're still fucking mm -hmm. dancing. Um, and then just the YouTube videos. I'm never really around when they're like yeah. filming these YouTube videos. And is is that why you didn't uh, you weren't part of like the whole Wave House thing? Well, yeah, I I mean I didn't get asked to do it, but I think it's because they knew I wouldn't do it anyways. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't have. Wanted you wouldn't. To do you wouldn't have wanted to do it. So that. yeah, if they asked you, you would have said no. Yeah, 100%. yeah. No, it just Not wasn't it. 
like they literally had their entire freedom Take and their away. entire whole careers, which they built up themselves, mm -hmm. taken away to basically try and make someone else more money. Yeah. yeah, like they were already living a great life, you know, making good money, with freedom. To then go somewhere else to maybe not even make as much money. You can't yeah. even put any time into your own work. Like they were having to wake up like early every day and work till the evening. Like they were they, only like they made guests it sound on the like a prison. I could only go see my friends on the weekend, and I was wasn't even allowed to stay. Up. Like I, I banished people from staying for the night yeah. because I took my cat there. Well, yeah, Millie actually said that you were sort of the reason why yeah, it I all was. fell apart was because of this cat. I, that's not the reason the whole house <laughs> fell apart. Like, I, I can't this be held accountable. Cat got You're a the menace, boot. bro. You're a menace. Bro, I, I, the first time I got there and I stay in there, they they give me an iPad and they're like, you have to fill out this form. And oh, I, I heard literally, about that. I was like, there is no way I am filling this out to come stay at my best friend's house. I was like, yeah. no. Like, I had to do it. I literally had to do Did it. Did you sign it? Yeah, I had to. And they were like, it's like anything that they film in that house, you've got no say over what happens to it and stuff like this. And like, you can't film anything and post that it. That is insane. It's man. long, man. I don't, I, I don't really like when people are like established creators and stuff then go in with these big companies. I don't mm -hmm. see the point. You know, these that, these big companies the should be for people that don't have much because yeah. then it kind of works hand in hand. They've got the money to give people the, like the resources to make these, these videos, these content, sure. and then they build it themselves. But like, I don't know, I don't really see why they would go into that, but I guess it was good publicity and I don't think they regret it, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They lived in so a they lived in a fat mansion for a few It months, wasn't so. even that long yeah. as well, so I'm pretty sure it's just one of those yeah, things. You, like you look back like, on it and you're like, shit, I actually did that, it was cool, yeah. whatever. Fuck but it. But I, no, I did yeah. I did kind of say and like didn't think it was a good idea. I kind of I wasn't really much I could say to them, but I didn't think it was good for them to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like for their own personal stuff as well, all their channels were declining while they were there. Yeah. Like they were all, they were pretty much all losing subs during the Wave House. And but like really? they're fine now, but yeah. They sort of, they sort of made but up for it on the TikTok side of things, because that stuff was Yeah, obviously, obviously they've, they've done really well on TikTok. TikTok um, like and now it's getting monetized really well. Um, but What's getting monetized really well? TikTok. I think it's getting monetized, monetized Is it? quite well. Yeah, they're doing like all these like oh. literally a song and a dance. You wouldn't even know it's. Oh, yeah. oh you, you mean, mean like branded? Oh, sorry. Brand oh, we thought like... you meant the TikTok creator fund. We no, the creator like, fund hey, is you're dead. Not, you're not actually dead. allowed to speak about it. I don't think. I remember Oliver That's saying you can't speak about it, otherwise you can I'll get taken off. I don't give a fuck. Creator fund is dead. Right. So I mean, as a, as a guy that doesn't use TikTok, so it dead. Make sense. Yeah. I can say if I agree or disagree with such a statement. Mm. Um, but it's interesting <laughs> to hear. Because as the fellas it's podcast, we love TikTok. Yeah. Take it back. I was about to start making TikToks no. oh, oh, on my videos. No, so. no. Please carry on with your personal thoughts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I actually did a brand deal with Musical.ly just before they turned to TikTok. Because right. oh. they wanted to make like normal kind of videos and they're like yeah. pranks and stuff. And they verified me on that. And that's why I'm verified on TikTok okay, today. Cool. But yeah, I've heard about that. I yeah, like, I unlisted all of before. those. When so, how, how, ended. is the money that these guys get for using like a particular song? Is it actually is it decent? Is I it mean, it's not decent, but for the amount of work and how many of them you can do compared to a YouTube brand deal, it, it adds up. I mean, it but probably takes like what ten minutes to exactly. To do, like, it's so. so easy. It's so easy. There's nothing really. But to yeah. be fair, they learn dances and stuff. But again, it's like us saying that's not work when people say to us that YouTube videos aren't work. Okay. You know? Yo, the man behind the I idea of the rebrand is must be whole yeah. I, I hope he got a nice fat pay rise. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was musically um, owned by China? I no? couldn't tell you. I couldn't I tell TikTok you. Is. TikTok is- Yeah, we're all doomed. We are doomed. We're we've given, Go on, we have given all our data to China. Bro, they, they, they were gonna get it one way or another, Hawaii, whether it's through TikTok or what? Is it Huawei? Huawei. Huawei. We love a brand deal. Love you guys. Yeah. But we are doomed, mate. We are doomed. I wanted, I wanted them to have my data. Bro, Ch Ch Chip is a generous mm. man. He's a man of sharing. How's the biggest social media company going to be owned by like the one of the scariest countries in the world? Like? They're only scary because you're told they're scary though, no? Yeah. No, I've watched a lot of uh, videos. I spent like a solid six, hour, uh, six hours watching Nah, you ain't been there, bro. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. We need to go there. Oh my there. God, I'm finally. Mm -hmm. You would go to North Korea in it. Uh, I'm going to do the marathon. Wait, what? Wait, so there's what? is a, uh, basically there's it's like the Pyongyang something like that. Pyongyang. Yep, that's the yeah. one. Marathon is the only thing that foreigners can take part in. So wow. you can go there and do the marathon in North Korea. So you're gonna do that? I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna when try. is that? I or do no you know? Idea. I, no that's on the and list. I can't run a marathon yet. But no, that's fine. Both of those things. What's the yeah. title? I ran a marathon in, in North, North Korea, Korea, mate. That is I, awesome. Like, yeah. Write that down, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the right fellas down. run a marathon <laughs> in yeah, North Korea. Yeah, you made a mistake, brother. No, but seriously, that is, that's really sick. I've said- uh, Someone did it. Someone so, from America did it. 
But now that America's his not name's, allowed in. His, na- his name's Otto Wombo. You Wombo. remember, Cal, when we spoke and about- Whatever last, his name Cal, is. last podcast, we spoke about how um, there are people that speed run the countries in the world. Yeah. That's the kind of shit that Ben would do, I feel. Yeah. We, speed run? Yeah, people speed try run. and go to every country in the world in one year. Yeah. Oh, interesting. You're gonna write that one down. It's, it's, it's too much effort I'm for one. Yeah. Forty hour. One. Royalties, man. You go in like forty eight hours. That's a, very. That's sick. a sick but, idea. Um, or another. Oh, I keep no. Sh- give I him a whole keep going, bro. Keep dropping <laughs> we, it. As you can see, we've got BTS Alex writing notes <laughs> down on the side there. <laughs> like literally, it's still an all my idea. Another one nah, I was okay, actually gonna do. I don't mind saying it because you can. Well, the thing is, and you can't do it yet. Anyways, I was gonna do the longest train journey in the world from Portugal to like China. Oh wow! It's like takes like two weeks. Be careful what you say about China, then, bro. Because when you end up in China and there's a Donny waiting for you there, like I heard what you said on the fucking fellas. (laughs) Yeah. So okay. Okay. (laughs) About to cut some Um, shit out. Yeah. No, we're not going to China anymore. Um, That is my biggest scare. You know, when I was in Dubai. yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! I would li- was literally like texting my friends, and I'd press send, and I'd be like, "Oh my god, have I just sent that on WhatsApp?" Like, oh, what? Just in, what, wait, what, what, what are you talking you about it? here? Just like Why? countries, when you're in different countries that we, we like don't have the same kind of freedom we have here. Like you're never gonna yeah. worry about what you say on the phone, like what yeah. you text someone. But in different countries, like. If you say, like, the, the laws quite thing. aren't quite the same there. Like they're searching all your shit, like really? all really? the time. Okay. I so think if you, so. if you were I mean, saying some like anti or like even just yeah. joking about mainly things, you like yeah, about. mainly like against the government kind yeah. of stuff. If you were to yeah. say their name, maybe some bad words, and you'd probably yeah, you they're should, definitely watching. You should test yeah. that out for a video. <laughs> yeah, see how long it takes for you to get arrested. Yeah, that's, uh, it's maybe not mm. maybe not the best plan if you plan on going to Dubai for tax reasons. But no, no, and we're not going to Dubai for tax reasons. It's the sun. <laughs> this guy is and the the bar, All you've done, suit, all you've done since you stepped on here is incriminate yourself. And the love yeah. Underage drinker that is tax evading. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> sake. Heading off to Dubai. Yeah, yeah he's I'm not tax You're evading. I just forgot murderer. to pay my tax for free. You, you kill all. ants. You drink illegally. Oh, <laughs> this is a, what else you got for us? Yeah. Fed's gonna be knocking oh, on that door in a minute. If you want. No. Oh, no. listen, if it's 3 a.m. in a club. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what you're it making is. it to seven. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to a party tonight, aren't we, Ben? Well, I, you probably can come to be fair, yeah. Wait, I'm what's tr- the party, guys? Guess what, guys? It's a party of a, of a previous podcast guest, and me and Cal have received no invites. Millie T is 21st <laughs> I birthday. I wasn't gonna name drop, but there it Millie is. Millie T is 21st Millie, birthday. If you're watching. Now, do you know what it was? Do you know Sorry, what it was, Chip? She she knew that Ben was coming in the post and, and, and she said, look, it's it's not very polite of me to ask via text. I'm going to send a messenger. Oh, he said exactly. Oh. That's why What's I the message, you guys. Um, come to, come the, to come the party. To the party. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Sounds a bit dodgy, that. But I will yeah. be coming. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm, try- I, I'm trying to think of um, who else... I can think of that you've you've done videos with. You you tend to do a lot of videos by yourself. For yeah, the most part. It's I do, all like, solo I do stuff. like doing videos by myself. To be fair, it's just a lot easier. I don't really like other people filming my videos. Yeah, um, quite particular, just so sort of like how it's filmed and stuff. That's the same and as how Harry is as well. Yeah, yeah. and I just Harry's I just like I don't know. It's it's quite nice traveling by myself. But the reason why I've like working with Glenn so much is because I can literally drag him to do the shittest videos, which no one would ever come to right. do with me. Yeah, like just things that I would literally sit on for a whole month because I couldn't pluck up the courage to go stay in like the shittiest hotels. Yeah, or like this or that. And now I'm like, Glenn, we're doing this together. Bro. You're coming, mate. Yeah, you're you coming. do travel a lot by yourself, though, right? I do, I do. What's yeah. that like? And it, would you would you recommend it to people? Because I'm personally, I've never traveled with thought. I'm gonna go to. Greece by myself, nobody else. But you um, do that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I do. But I usually meet people or find people in that place and then make friends with them. Yeah, but is this then, is this knowingly you know they're out there or you're heading out there and you meet them out there? I usually just get lucky to be honest. Like yeah. someone will message me saying, "Oh, I know this person in this city." Uh-huh. Like link up with them and then I meet them and then they turn out to be sick people. Like when I was in Croatia, I wasn't planning to stay for long at all. I was just filming a video for like four or five days. And then Spencer told me to go meet up with these people he knew who like owned a travel app. Yeah. I met them and then like just made great friends with them. Saw them pretty much every day for the next three weeks. Like went out with them all the time and stuff. Yeah. What's and your then, favorite yeah. thing about traveling by yourself? Is there something that you're there like, this, I, I, um, prefer, I prefer this? Or? I think I think of really good ideas when I'm, when I'm alone, like in a different country and I got no distractions at all. Like London sometimes is just like every single day I'm getting invited to do something. Like come out here, go for dinner there, whatever. And I, I just can't say no. I've got no, like I just can never say no. I've got FOMO. 
No, chip, what? Chip, I guess chip, chip, that, that made a chip to a T, right? I know. I was literally zoned out there. What were you saying? I just can't say no to a night I'm out kidding, man. London, yeah. like, I can't. Yeah, chip, no, chip's I, I'm same. the same. Like, if somebody yeah. is like, let's let's go out. I'm let's, trying, but. Or like, oh, it's 2 oh, it's 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and you're like, I'm going home, and someone's like, nah, just stay. And I'm just like, yeah, well, of course, why not? He is dangerous. Chippo. Your Chippo, date. Chippo's a 7 a.m. Yeah, oh, man, minimum. Yeah. 7 a.m. at least. Nah, but I'm Chewing cutting your ear off Cutting as well. down, oh, cutting, cutting, cutting down I, on that heavily now. You that's know, I've only been, I've only been out once in September so far. Yeah, that's because none of the, everyone's doing sober in September, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that's, I swear I was I'm out with no, you but like all, two weeks all ago. the other boys have been asked me to go out. The ones that aren't doing sober so Theo's been on holiday. Me, nah, Harry, but and Will. The, the, the ones outside of Reed. YouTube. I'm talking like, you know, Ash, Marcus. Bro, you, you're super capable, bro. I swear to God. I swear the, to the God. The moment we're done with Sober September, bro, you can be back on it with the boys. No, I'm still drinking now. <laughs> no, I, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying like the 7 a.m. as they, they're slowing down massively. Mm. Can't even remember my last one. I went, that, I went, I went <laughs> out be, I don't know beginning of that. September, I went out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth of September party. I was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm having a drink. But I did go home at a normal time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like 3.30. No, you you were know saying like, I, I ain't done it all September. It's like the 13th of September. <laughs> We're coming I'm, up to midnight. I'm, I'm feeling a bit licked. <laughs> what you're feeling is that, okay. I could, uh, listen, listen. I could, I, could, I, could, I could feel like, a I seven. I have to let it out. I could feel a so seven. I don't feel insecure about my drunk. Though, That's so fine, just, bro. Yeah, I got to put it out there. Uh, it was funny. I remember literally being 15 and like like being at the flat don't incriminate me coming back at don't like incriminate me yeah do not incriminate me awful like I, well, I don't know why a little child was allowed i looked flat, after you do you know um, but here, here's one thing that i've always said right is you see america you see american people is before they turn 21 like they literally don't drink they don't know anything but when so they do weird. turn 21 they go so literally off the rails you look at a lot of scandinavian countries they're having like a bit uh, like alcohol with their parents from like in in their teenage years before they're legally allowed to and then when they do turn 18 when they're allowed to drink it's a lot more of just like a it's not that much of a big deal so they don't mm. go out and get absolutely trashed and embarrass themselves and i think it's the same thing i know when i have kids they, they can have a glass of wine at dinner whereas these americans bro leaving it till 21 till they can legally drink they go absolutely nuts in college yeah All so of vices, they go crazy yeah oh, smirnoff what? trend that they used to do do you remember that well, what's it? you just got ice, 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 ice now, man. you got ice man yeah they uh, and, and they just they uh, think that smirnoff ice is just like this big yeah thing when in the, in the uk it's literally like it's not they ain't, i can't lie though it does taste would, great it tastes it does, fantastic. It does, it because great. there's no alcohol it, the, in it. The, the reality is, yeah, you should. It, it's like it's if you it get caught drinking that. It's, yeah, yeah, but it, 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 to be fair, why do we really care? Mm. Yeah, I think the Americans have got a dub over us there. Yeah, they a have. Well, they got a dub over us because, because they don't give a shit. Whereas we are really like weird about it. Like, oh, you're yeah. drinking a WKD as kind of ice. Well, we, it's the same with like a Copperberg here. Yeah, people it's a four will get percent, onto you. For yeah, that. but the reality is, it's like, why? It's good. Yeah, yeah. Why you get onto me? Like, fuck. Yeah, if I was having a coke. No difference. Mm, no well, fun. yeah, that's, I'm on the coke right now. So that. You're on the what? I'm on the coke. It's not a 7 a.m. or type <sighs> job today. Could though. just call it gear, but. Um, <laughs> when you're abroad, you must have some sketchy stories. Thank you. Um, like, have you ever have you ever been in a position where you're there, like, gonna get robbed or something? Yeah, like you know, this is wood, sus. Touchwood. I have never been really? got close to getting robbed. Never been in like a public fight, anything like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nothing. That's Are you good. quite a calm guy when you're out and about? I like to think so, yeah. Yeah. I probably do get a bit like, I think people have tried to punch me before, but I've kind of just, I get away from You diffuse the situation. Somehow, yeah. yeah, a little slip. Maybe not diffuse, maybe just like. Escape. Uh, the thing is, I'm usually with girls. Uh -huh. And guys, whenever I'm with girls, guys just hate me for no reason. Uh -huh. I don't even need to open my mouth and they automatically hate the guy that is friends of these girls. Yeah, cause you're considered the cock block, I am, right? I am the cock block. Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah, am yeah. the cock block. I'm just trying to chill with my friends. They want me there. And these guys are just like- Hounding them. Yes, absolutely yeah. trying to shock these girls. And they just hate me. There was one time in Budapest and this guy, like Irish guy, Irish people are scary when they get drunk and angry. <laughs> right, as well. right. You know, and they get like the proper Irish accent out. Uh -huh. um, and he was just like screaming at me like, threatening me and just nothing happens so yeah but no honestly not many crazy like scary stories it sounds fucking boring but maybe I, I just am. I, I watched a video of you in uh oh the one in budapest is that oh, the one you're on about i was gonna bring up a different one but go ahead with the budapest one 
that was when I lost my camera and my phone at like a thermal bath party when I was spa party. A thermal bath party, yeah, right? When I was by myself. Um, so I went on like this four day trip by myself. I was in like a pretty like, I just felt, felt like I was in a shit place. I was like, I'm gonna go on holiday by myself, uh -huh. film a video and just enjoy the place. And I got there on like the Friday and my manager said, you have to go to this, this thermal bath party. It only happens like every couple of weeks. So I was like, fine, I'm gonna go by myself. It's gonna be the worst uh, thing ever, like turning up to a party by yourself. So I went bro, to shop. In a country where you have like- Oh my God, awful. That, it, that takes a big set of balls, you know? Yeah, awful. But I went to shop, bought a bottle of Smirnoff and just was sat in my flat by myself, listening to tunes, drinking. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. The more drunk I get, the easier it'd be. Um, so I go to this thermal bath party. I can't remember how I got there. Um, must have got like the subway or the bus or something. And then, I took my camera, my phone, my wallet, and everything with me. And I'd only been there for one night, so I didn't know where my Airbnb was. It was like some random, however they say their language, Hungarian, yeah. is it Hungarian? I'm actually not too sure. Something yeah. like that. No, um, I and I was just there chilling, met uh, a group of people, like some American people. I must have had like one drunk drink and don't remember anything past that point. Oh, you reckon Com you spiked? Complete blackout, complete blackout. I don't know why I would get spiked, I think it they was do it I, though. Guys get spiked all the time. I man. think it's because I had Desperado tequila drink, and then I just had vodka beforehand. I don't know. I think it was just nah, a bad man. Mix. I'm telling. I've, I've maybe I got spiked. Can, I, because I'm I never telling you that shit happens abroad all the time. I never time. remember being drunk, drunk. So that's, yeah. a, that's a telltale sign to me. I never remember being drunk. It just went from being a bit, you know, jolly to blackout to just blackout. And then the next, I just send the next thing I know. I wake up in my uh, Airbnb. Yeah hanging out of my ass, worst I ever felt in my life. Your ass is feeling a bit tender because some mm. fucking Donny has just what? run a train on you. I don't know. Did he actually? Yeah, I don't know. I did I did low key try to check if, if <laughs> like, anything That's had happened. That's mad, yeah. Because I didn't wow. know, I had no idea. And I went to like, I was like, oh, what's the time? Like, went to go look to my phone, like couldn't find my phone. Oh my God, this gives me anxiety just hearing the story. Yeah, couldn't find my not. wallet. Couldn't find my just brand new two and a half grand camera, which I'd spent, which was pretty much my whole life savings back then. Uh -huh. like, just invested in my whole channel, lost it. Um, and I was like, oh, bollocks, I fucked it. <laughs> I like was in bits. I was like, uh -huh. no, I like pretty much start crying. I think I did cry yeah. to be honest. I just like start recording on my Damn. MacBook camera just uh -huh. to get some footage. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna milk this situation if I'm having a shit time. Yeah. Uh, start filming it. And I like, I was like, okay, I need to go back there. I need to find out what happened. I need to find this shit. And um, I get, I like have to write down like the bus route and shit to get to this place. Like get off this bus, this place, like whatever, have a piece of paper from my notebook and go on my way, hanging out my ass. Finally get there after like 45 minutes. And I say to them like, oh, I've lost my stuff here. Like, please, can you check the lockers? And they're like, okay, okay, we will go check for you. They take like 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, Mad this sauce. is long. I'm like, this is too long. And they come back and they're like, no, nothing. And I'm like, oh. so I'm what like, were you spending no. that twenty minutes? For? I was like, I was like, oh my god! Like they barely spoke English, and I was, yeah. I like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna play like the the guilt trip card. I'm gonna like make myself look fucking sad. I was like, I got no money, like I got no phone <laughs> by myself. They're like, okay, you go to the other entrance and ask over there. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. She's like, they will find it better. And I was like, <laughs> right, okay. 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 I was yeah. like, you nice. definitely went round the back and just had a fag no, and then just came back. <laughs> so I went to the other entrance. Awesome, and they, they went to search it for ages. At this point, I was honestly wanted to kill myself. It was really, it was yeah. ropes for me. I was like, my life is over. Um, and they come back after like 20 minutes and they're like, no, I haven't found it. And I'm like, please, I'm like, they're like, I'm like, please, can I just come with you and search it? Cause they weren't letting me go with them. Yeah. And they let me go with with them and it, it was in one of the fucking lockers. No way. And I was like, you guys went out two wow. times for 20 minutes and you couldn't find my phone, so, my camera and so wallet. It was all just sat in an open locker. So the, basically there was two lockers, one downstairs where you get changed yeah. and then one just right next to the pool. Yeah. So I'd obviously like taken my stuff up to the pool and be like, I can't actually get in the pool of it. So I put in one of these little lockers and you have like a little wrist yeah. tapper thing to tap it. Yeah. And I'd obviously somehow stumbled down to the lockers, got changed and just not got my stuff from the upstairs locker. Yeah. So it was, it was all there. But then the weird thing is I, I don't know if I actually did lose my wallet. Maybe it was just my phone and my thing because 
on my app, it said I had a payment at like 4 a.m. and then another one at like 6.30 a.m. But if it was in the locker, at then like you should have never had them. different locations, like a bar and someone else, somewhere else. Okay, so maybe your wallet did get nabbed at the other two. There well, no, like I did, sorry. So I, ha I must have had my wallet or just had one of the cards, right? Yeah. Because I did have that card eventually, I got it back. Yeah. Um, so I'd obviously used it somehow and I'd gone somewhere at 4 a.m. and gone somewhere at 6 a.m. and they were like different places in the city. No idea where wow. I went. I had like mud all over my shorts as well. So yeah. obviously like taken a few stumbles. Somehow, this is the confusing, somehow got back to my Airbnb without knowing the address. Yeah, that's I had wild. no idea of the address. It was like half an hour away. Like there's no way I like, I would have been able to point it out or even say the street name. And then, um, shit. yeah, that's basically it. And that's, that's scary. scary. And basically, Fuck. yeah. So I met people at the party as well and they followed me, but I didn't have my phone on me. It was in my locker. So I didn't follow them back. And when I went to check the next morning, my notifications had just gone so far down that I couldn't see their follow. I couldn't see that time range. Oh, they'd follow. Oh, and oh put, you mean followed as in on social media. So probably, I thought you meant like in person. No, I was no, like, no. What so do you they mean probably they still me? follow me because they followed me back then. And I put a story up the next day saying, whoever was at that party last night, followed me, please DM me on. I know what happened. Yeah. And got nothing. Oh man, trying to put together the pieces. And I don't know what happened to me, man. Cause I, I, I saw home, the, like... the, the video that I saw that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to ask you about was yeah. that you were in Dubai and I think you were doing the cheapest Airbnb versus the most expensive mm. one. And the cheapest one you went to was oh genuinely so sketchy. <laughs> oh Can you God. like explain a little bit about that? What? So yeah, I, I, I like nabbed, what is it? Um, What's the channel that does like the one pound versus a thousand pound? Everyone does it now. Everyone does everyone that now. Everyone does, yeah. So I did 10 pound versus a thousand pound Airbnb in Dubai. And I found a 10 pound Airbnb. It was like a private room, obviously in an apartment. Is it a room in an apartment? So not even the whole thing to yourself. It was a room. It was a room. It, and it, but it was it, a cage, it, it bro. Was it, it, room. Was, yeah. it was a cupboard. It was a honestly. pantry. And like this part of Dubai, no one goes to and no one shows at all. Like it is, like, I felt like I was in Mumbai. Yeah. People walking around in sandals, like everywhere, cycling in sandals. Like it's a completely different people, like shops, everything. It is not, if you took a picture and then put Dubai, people would be like, that's not Dubai. Really? Like, no one would recognize it at all. And I get there and I'm like, this is a bit like, this is my first time in Dubai as well. First oh, night wow. in Dubai, I just got straight there and I was like, oh, really? I was like, and wow. I, I got so shook as well because people told me like, oh, be careful with your camera. You can't film people and stuff in Dubai. Like they'll arrest you if you film people. And I'm like, Okay, so I was really shook at this point. Get there, meet the Airbnb guy, he takes me upstairs. I go up an elevator, like first thing I see out the elevator is just a complete pile of like mattresses, rubbish, furniture, all this oh crap. Oh my God. And then walk into the flat. The flat's not that bad, okay? It's not that bad, but it is literally a slim corridor. On your right is a toilet. Just after that is like the little kitchen alley, tiny bit. Yeah. And then second door down is my room. He opens the room, it, it doesn't even, like it just about opens fully. And there is just a single mattress on the floor, maybe a queen, taking up the whole of the floor. It was just like the mattress I, was the floor, I wasn't it? I didn't yeah. have, I only just had space to shove my suitcase over. And then the only other place I could walk in his room was my mattress. Wow. So, and then um, it wasn't that great obviously, but I stayed there. And then at like 4 a.m., these like three Arabic guys came into the, the Airbnb. Nah, bro, I'm stressed. And so they, they, the thing is, the weird thing is, they come into the Airbnb, no one leaves their room. What? They start sh like shouting at each other, like having this conversation, and then they all leave. So they just came into my flat to have, and, and there was no, there was no like, it was a door and then the gap above it into the flat from my room. So, so I could oh, hear everything. I could hear wow. the lonely next to me snoring. I heard his alarm going off like for, for oh. half an hour straight at 6 a.m. Oh, I got out of that shit as soon as possible. Did, did you, you, but you stayed the night? Yeah, I did actually stay the night. Yeah. I, I was planning not to fall asleep and just stay up all night, but really? I, I conked out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm. And, and then you went to the, the nice one. Where was yeah, your yeah, nice yeah. one? Uh, in the five palm, it was like a penthouse there. So it was, was, uh, it, was it was it nice? It was. Was very it? Nice. Yeah, how much it did was. you pay for that night? Though? Was it? It was not two k. Does it not get comped at all? Do you, do you ever get any of this stuff like that? That was bust on the Airbnb credit. To be fair, Airbnb credit. Yeah. So I've been sharing my code. Yeah. On Airbnb for ages now, and I am. How much money you got on there? 
I think I've done like five, six K on there in total. Yeah. Wow. What yeah. in terms, so it's like a referral code? Yeah, and people, yeah, yeah. And then you get- So they get like oh, 25 wow. pounds off or something like that. It's actually really good. And then I yeah. get like 12, 15, maybe nine, something like that. I don't know, it depends. Damn, your code must have been used loads then. So yeah, it got used quite a lot because people are just saving money. Like why do yeah. you not use why the code? Not, yeah, I'm gonna make true. money too, but I, they've blacklisted me now, so I don't make any money from it. What? Why? why have they blacklisted you? Make so for ages, when I go on to show credit, it just doesn't load the page. I tried on every single browser, different Wi-Fi, they made a new account and went on it, it worked fine. So they blocked me from showing my credit, but the only way I could see it was when I went to check out. Yeah. And it was still show my credit, but now I've used it all up and no code referrals come through. So obviously oh, they. So it's broken. I why think there's just, a limit. Why don't you just make a new, new, new account? New I feel code? I'm gonna do one under Glenn's name, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty fucked that they mm. that they do that. They should definitely, or at least be transparent with you and be like, yo, by it the way, we say, have a. Ten. It does say in the contract there is a limit. But oh, I, so well, I, there you go. Yeah. Well, then I don't know what the. Yeah, but I, yeah. I think I went over it anyway, so I don't understand okay. how, why it then came that's into force later, but. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, I do man. pay for a lot of a lot of stuff. What so What is the most you've spent on a video? Do you reckon? Like talking, like maybe you've got an expensive hotel, mad long trip. I know it. I know it. Feel like you spent a good bit on a vid before. It was. It was the first class uh, video. Dubai was it the Emirates one? Yeah, the Emirates one. Yeah, I'll Cal, 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 it, Cal wasn't, it wasn't even the new first class. What is the new first? Did we did, have the new did, first? You didn't get the new one. You know the I one with a whole so. whole floor to ceiling door. You basically get your whole no, room. no. We didn't no, have that. I didn't get. We that. had the like half one where they can look over. If they I to. tried so hard to get it. It was all I wanted. Yeah. And then I got the old one, but I think it was like four grand or something. Do you not have to yeah. look for a specific plane model? Is that what it is? You do. But there's like another little letter, and then even so, there's sometimes you don't even a get a chance. That one. You don't get it. Yeah, oh, sometimes you don't even get that damn. one. Okay. But yeah, I think I think it's somewhere like four grand. And with that video as well, there wasn't even a brand deal. That's so not too. I was that's like, not too. Bad I was like, I'm, that's hurt. Like, that's hurt in the pocket. I there. was like, Casey's done it. Do you not do get brand deals from most of your videos? No, I do. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. What was but, um, um? How many views? How, how did that do in the end? A couple mil. Yeah. See th those ones. That did, those yeah, ones always do well. Like. It did absolutely. So you met you you did yeah, really, really you got well, your money yeah, back really well. Because so. whenever I see Cal like spending like a good little 10, 15 bags in a vid, I'm like, wow, my boy's bedded up, and then he just whips out his phone and he's like, right, boys, Dominoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, of course, bro, fucking you have course. To, but I, the you way do, YouTube you has changed now, because before you used to uh, used to do like you would just take the money from the brand deal, and that was like profit. Nowadays, I'm looking uh, for brand deals to pay for the to video. pay for the video because I, w I have it's all these videos the that are costing a lot of money. Like mm. that car one, that car one was probably like five or six grand yeah. to do. Even really? a even a taxi yeah. one, even, even a taxi one that you did, yeah. you had a brand deal for that. It's all but uh, it's good to just operate to like that. Yeah. Make sure the video gets paid. If there's any leftover, then, then it goes towards yeah. the next video. Or whatever. Honestly, to breathe every month, I just spend so much like to make my videos. It's crazy, isn't so it? much. Hotels, if I flights. Could, if I could be a gamer at home, I would be breaded. Chip be was living, living in that. Oh, I like did that. have that for a year or two. It's I really spend good. all my money making my videos. But to be fair, it means I can business expense like my whole life and live my life. We've got a new sponsor, Crimes. Go on, tell them who it is. Oh, Noom. Noom, exactly. And you're probably wondering, what the hell is Noom? Chip. That's what I'm wondering, but tell me about it. Let sell me, me, baby. Let me tell you what Noom is. If you Noom can is. sell me, you can sell it to them. No, well, bro, I don't even need to sell it to you because let me tell you, you as soon as you hear this, you're just going to want to be all over it, right? You started now, off a good path, man. Now, I like look, this. everybody needs to make healthier decisions in life. That's true. Right? That you you want to be the healthiest person you can possibly mm -hmm. be. I do. Yeah. How much do you want to be the healthiest person? I want to be, be the healthiest. Keep going, man. Go on, say a lot of shit. I want to be the healthy. I want to be like Ronaldo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's a great start. Well, Noom will help you get there because it's all about psychology and how you need to unlearn bad habits that you already picked up intentionally or unintentionally. You have bad habits. It happens. And what they do is they focus on the psychological side and try and instill good habits within you. And it's something that you can do every single single day, right? So um, more than 80% of users complete the Noom program, okay? More than 60% lose 5% or more body weight and 60% of them 
keep the weight off for an entire year. So what they're trying to say is their approach is really effective. And it's interesting. If you guys have maybe tried previously to lose weight and then you found, oh crap, like it worked, but then I just resorted back to the, the old ways. They're trying to go a little bit deeper and take a more psychological approach to it so that it is more of a long lasting thing. And like they said, you ideally don't just want it to be like, okay, for a month, look at me, I'm really healthy. It's like, no, over a year, these results are are proven so if that is something of interest to you guys then make sure you go ahead and check out noom it's all about um, improving your relationship with food and turning you maybe away from the bad foods and more towards the better food so guys want, man. if that is of interest to you then you guys can go ahead and check out um noom which is noom.com slash fellas to check out the trial so you can go on there enjoy the trial that is noom.com slash fellas and get involved on the trial give it a shot try it it's out worth a try man it is it's 100%. always worth a try with these new things going on so yeah you shout don't out shoot noom. you don't score <laughs> i love that from every you, hole's a goal I'm not quite sure that's the motto, but definitely check out Noom. Yeah, but your whole life that's is business expense. Yeah, so Inter uh, have, have you ever thought? Because you know, you know, what always pops up for me, and it's on TikTok. You, you don't watch TikTok that much, but there's always people peddling this like air, buy Airbnbs and rent them out. Saw this this morning. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever? Have you like? What do you? So most of your income will come from. Uh, Did you know YouTube. I was like planning to buy a property? Like no, no, but no, seriously. But, but I was genuinely because I feel like this is what tomorrow there was a property auction. Yeah, which I was going to buy. Was or are you still going to go and look at? I Not left sure. it too late to go for a viewing and sure. get in and stuff. I didn't realize you can't do it the day before, but. <laughs> It doesn't nice, look bro. like that in, Real that, in nice. that industry. But um, yeah, no, I'm literally planning to buy properties and make Airbnbs out of them. Sick. In, in the UK or abroad? Um, you start with the UK. And then go So this there. is my like, my kind of medium long-term plan, just to accumulate flat. So I was going to buy one in Bristol City Centre. Yeah. It's like a really popular place for Airbnb. You're just buying it out cash, right? Or are you going to get a mortgage on them? I was going to buy it cash and then remortgage because yeah. it's so hard in my age, with my job, first time owner through a company as well mm -hmm. to then do a short length mortgage there's so many factors which come in like, i've learned so much over the past few weeks yeah. it's so long so if you can buy cash and you know just get some capital around you or whatever yeah. and then remortgage you cool. get a way better rate it's way easier so yeah, yeah. that's the plan that's the plan is to make that's exciting beans, make a youtube video about it maybe like a mini series of me buying it renovating it i would i would watch that i would watch that, that, exactly. Would watch that exactly and then you know how these got much money these guys are making from property courses Oh, what, you're going to oh. do a property course? Once you've made it, you can do the Once courses. I, if fuck I you like and fuck your courses. Nobody I, buy that shit. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. Nobody go and buy this man's fucking property course because guess what? You can learn all this shit for free. Yeah? <laughs> Don't buy a course, especially his fucking course, all right? But if you, if you want to see how he does it, I'm sure there'll be videos on YouTube on him doing up his thing. Bro, just buy the fucking property. How yeah, much is that course, it on by Airbnb. the way? Just ask it. I have complete curiosity. How much what? He doesn't how have much a course. course? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a course, but it's just like my, my potential long-term plan. If I do become successful of, as fuck of property yeah. and I'm very knowledgeable about it, I'm obviously going to sell my knowledge. Why would you not make that extra bread? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean by uh, extra bread? What's the what's the because the whole point about courses and them being just completely like bullshit is I because the this. fact that if, if someone's making it, a, uh, it making all the money, why would you share with everyone how you did I it? Because this. you're just devaluing and depreciating the value of your assets. Of course, I thought this, but that extra that extra added time of you making like a video course of you actually sharing your knowledge yeah. which genuinely is useful to people i just signed up to a course yeah. the other day yeah it was free but there obviously is going to be an added of course paid yeah. section of it like is they can make so much money like the is courses it? yeah no the courses can make a lot of money but what i never understood why people sign up to the lazy courses. lazy people that um look this information is out there on the web for free. completely for free go but the problem is when it. something is free yeah the some some people look at that information and think because mm, that's free it. that yeah. that's not I good would, information mm, that's not good that's knowledge you're right, you're right. okay and then what they will go and do is they'll go and get shilled on instagram by someone who is probably successful and yeah. is yeah. might not even be capping let's yeah. go ahead and say i know someone that's course. amazing at property and selling courses he makes m amazing money from both yeah and he is very successful very uh, like clever with it but why would you not? Would you say his course is worth capture? it then? It's a good course. Like, is that what you're saying? It is a good course. I've just started his free course and I'm, I can it's, tell you that. But yeah. It's, um, there's one guy right on TikTok and I'm not going to say his I name. I know who you're on about. 
I think. Yeah. No, there's a couple. Yeah, man. I think there's because a couple. let me tell you, this guy's a slime ball. There's a couple. I don't want to say his name, but give like, me a couple of hints because I know there's one that we we. No, nah, I don't reference. even want to. Bro, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want people to go over there and then get baited by it because I can yeah. see why people get baited. Is by it dodgy it. trim? Well, he's not he even really. He got definitely does. Yeah, he yeah. Definitely, definitely does have dodgy. Yeah, he's trim, got yeah. like a. But he's not. He's not, Yeah, I don't. I don't really want. I don't even give him any fucking. There is quite a few. And the thing is, like, but there's a lot of young people on TikTok, so they, the the advice gets boosted. People are yeah. like, oh my god, this Donnie's doing this, and I'm only 16, mm. I could probably make bread. So, so yeah. do you do you know someone personally that is doing any of this Airbnb stuff, or are you just? Going um, I've been put in touch with someone. Yeah. And I've kind of got this software which tells me takes all the data from all the Airbnbs in that area. Cool. Like says what the average price they sell for and like how yeah. much they're occupied per month. Yeah. Per how many bedrooms. So I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as possible. Cool. I kind of knew this property tomorrow wasn't going to go through, but now for the next auction, I know exactly You're what ready. to do. So that's hopefully, exciting. What a cool project. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually gas. Like I, I did really want it to go through tomorrow, but it didn't. So that's I have right, to wait. Though. But I feel like once I've got this kind of solidified and there's something. Uh -huh. Like working behind the scenes, I'm gonna be way less stressed of YouTube and yeah. like life. In that sounds is YouTube exciting, your main though. source of income right now? Yeah, a hundred percent. There's okay. nothing else. I mean, a bit of crypto, but like yeah. I don't believe crypto until it's back into cash. Yeah, until like it's, it's kind of profit. just a bit of sure. a fun Sims game to. Sure. Yeah. It's kind of, well, it is essentially monopoly money until it it's actually been, your profit has been realized. Yeah, literally. So. Um, but yeah. no, it is the the plan to get into property eventually. Make YouTube cool. videos about it and then. Yeah, yeah go from see there. See how it goes. See how it goes. Ben Morris, the property guru. TikTok's coming near you. I'm going to yeah. try, but my dad was like an estate agent all his life. Oh, okay. Well, that Your helps. dad is good at that shit, too. Fair. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to be an architect when I was a kid. Sick. And I love like interior design now. Uh -huh. So it's like a good mix of like property. You Everything can choose how together. things look. I will then... say, like, your flat the is like when you look at the pictures that you sent me, like, it is a peng. The way you've done it, the way you've set it up, that it's little okay. green AstroTurf underneath the table. Was that it was that a nice touch. one. Is it no, the no, one? it's not. It's not. This was before off white yeah. did their one. Um, you were ahead of no, you you have it, well designed your flat. Off -white run. Oh, is it? It is yeah. off white. I, I, <laughs> told you, I, I, thought, I know the run. Yeah. I thought it was just a, complete AstroTurf. No, but yeah, I know I do love. <laughs> he making just slapped my... in some five G. I, bro, I, on, I honestly <laughs> thought the Donny had just like got a little AstroTurf rug. No, nah, and I kept looking at it. I, like, I, wow, I, right. I think I know the run. Funny you say that. We, me, Millie, and Spencer, when we lived together in our first house in London, we paid two grand to replace like literally this much of AstroTurf in our garden. What, wait, how, wait, how much? Like this much of burnt grass because they had to replace well, the like whole a small circle. thing. Why they had to replace why? the whole garden because we had a New Year's party. And you fucked it. And had some fireworks. Oh, for fuck. And oh. we had a slab to like obviously light the fireworks. I mean, you're not that yeah. stupid, but someone chucked the finish box oh. onto the grass to put on another one. And obviously it was still on fire oh. and it burnt a big hole. So it, it cost two grand to replace a bit of Astro. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we got none of our deposit back either. Yeah, but if yeah. you chip in, not, not no, but still, man, that's that's something you can easily avoid. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a pain I mean, the, the thing is, it's a party. Shit always goes wrong at a party. There always. is always something that needs paying for. I know. I used yeah. to call my brother an idiot for like always losing his deposit in his flats. Yeah. And now I'm just like. Now you know. I do you live it. by yourself now? Yeah, I do. You enjoy yeah. it? Mm, I I don't think I will be living by myself for long now. Oh really? Yeah, I, I lived I've lived by myself for like a year and a half now, uh -huh. and I just I I find it hard to like stay in the house for a long amount of time and work because I just want a bit of social social interaction. Just sure. want to see someone, just go like have a tiny conversation yeah. with someone. So I'll then go out, you know, for lunch or go do something with someone for a little bit, but that always just turns into the rest of the day for me. Yeah. So I want to live with someone so I can just like have a bit of company. You got any idea who you, you want to live with? could be a little Glennie Royale. I think it's Spencer. Spencer, Spencer. Spencer. Okay, oh, yeah. I thought you were going to go Glenn. I, I would want to live with Glenn, but I I don't know if it'd be that healthy. Just it Nah, work and yeah, business, personal yeah. relationship. I don't, you you, you got to have the boundary. I think I was line. down for it, but I kind of suggested it a few times and I don't think he was too keen and I probably don't probably thinks you're a fucking moron. It, yeah, he does. I ain't living without free. He thinks yeah. I'm a moron, but I he, I pay him, so he, he can't say that. So <laughs> well, well, that that's also yeah. another reason why you shouldn't live together is because exactly. yeah, he's your employee. Exactly. Um, yeah, it just wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah. So I hopefully soon I move from Spencer. It's, it's annoying though because I've got such a big flat right now for one bed, such a good price. Yeah, and I'm literally about to move into a flat which is smaller for both of us. Oh really? Yeah. 
Oh wow! So I'm really down. For, for the what, it, it price still saying the same, or are you? Yeah, literally price. Same. We're going a bit so. more central. So. I was gonna say you yeah. guys live out in the sticks. Like, are you <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> You're getting violated. You know, what do you that? remember the rumor back in school uh, when everyone used to bring in Lucasades whatever school, and you peel the thing off, and then people go, "Oh, you're sexually frustrated," <laughs> and I'll be like, "Bro, I ain't even had sex." <laughs> Relax. Can't be frustrated about something you don't <laughs> have, bro. Yeah, because if, if you oh, peel I it, I don't off, know. I've never heard that. Yeah, if you peel it, I personally never heard that. I swear, Scott, boys, boys. If you peel off rappers off nah, drinks, apparently getting, you're sexually no. frustrated. Can I get a Google fact check on that? No. <laughs> no it was at least a rumor. Anything is going to come up on Google, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll say, you, know you ain't mean. fucking Google shit. <laughs> you, you know what happened? You know what it'll tell you? It'll tell you that you have cancer. That's what Google does. It's like, uh, are, you, are you peeling off labels from your balls? Yeah, you have cancer. <laughs> Yo, I had a really bad like, time the other day. I kept thinking, like, what was that? Wan Bissaka Wan just sent, sent off, but it's one 0 to United. It's actually one 0 yeah. C is it Ronaldo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Football. Go on then. Anyway, I no. I just this football, and I'm on like a. Oh, you don't like football, football do you, Ben? Audience. No, not podcast. even. No, 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 no. We don't. We, we don't, don't talk about that much. I'm here with the one percent fellas, female audience it's right now. Bro, uh, no. Excuse hey, me. Our Felipe does not take up a massive chunk of our audience. We got a lot of. No, 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 bro. When you got two studs, two good-looking fellas, talking knowledge. Dropping game. Dropping game. <laughs> dropping game. <laughs> dropping they just game. did it talky. Oh uh, my god. We can't now we can't talk about him again. We talked about him three Please weeks. get him on the podcast. Hey, just we will, we will. You Please. owe us some fucking money, bro, man. You have to promo You have to, you have to fly guy. outside B for no, 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 uh, he's, he's it's coming Marbella, back to bro, it's Mars. Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, come on, man. He's, he's, he's coming back to the UK, videos. so we'll get him on it. His yeah, he's, he's unbelievable. Yeah, we got. But get we talk Ed, about him, get him and Ed. Maybe got even some good milfs over there. No, we. <laughs> Olsi is a cameraman. He can be friends with Alex and Jamie. What's what's right. what's your what's your what's your, what's your game like with girls? Are you good with girls? Are you smooth. Um, a bit loose game. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that one. To be Why honest. not? I know. Are, you, are you good? Are you good? Are you good with with chatting to girls? I feel like I feel like I am because a lot of my friends are girls. Yeah. But I feel like half time they just think I'm gay to be honest. Really? Yeah. To be fair, you did mention like you're the one guy and there's loads of chicks around you in the club. I'm instantly going, he's, he's the gay best yeah, friend. Yeah, I, I am the gay best friend that isn't gay most right. of the time. Right, okay, so wait, are you just the friend zone best friend? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, no. have, you, have you ported any of the girls in your friend group? Um. <laughs> Yo, for real though, now nah, we gotta know this shit because otherwise it, it changes the dynamic no of, one... of the best friend group. If you well, you could just say yes. No at this one point. in the friendship group that you know. That like, I know. There's a okay. wider friendship group of other people. Got you, got you, got you. But yeah, no, guys everywhere, no, man. No, no YouTubers, nothing like that. No, no. YouTubers. Okay, well, I'm, cool. I, oh, <laughs> I actually can't remember. To, I need to have a good think. Yeah, no, no, no I, don't think, I don't think there's actually any YouTubers oh, I could sorry. mention. Yeah. Not that I would, anyways. No, you, you got. You should said, get Spencer oh, on the podcast. Spencer. Well, we we did. Uh, we we had Olivia on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, had man. Olivia Neal on the podcast, oh, and, okay. and, wait, she, wait, and wait. she said that. Um, well, she didn't name anyone. She didn't name no one. <laughs> but you're about to name someone. She named no one. But, I, well, I, well, but, but the TikTok comments, the TikTok comments did a lot of detective work. <laughs> I just found out it's a mad it's shit. Crazy. I'm so glad oh, I don't use God. TikTok because I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, right. I have no idea. You, you keep incriminating yourself. And <laughs> I'm, I'm on the nice side. Yeah, maybe, maybe we will get him on. Are you maybe guys we'll allowed to cut stuff out this uh, podcast? Uh, yeah, we, we cut uh, some yeah, stuff yeah, out. Some it, stuff. It, 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 it just jumps. To jumps to a brand deal yeah, every night. Um, <sighs> so, guys, right. free trade. So, would you say he's your best friend? Uh, yeah, I think so. Spencer. Yeah. I like Spencer. We dress as well. Him. I'm actually wearing his t-shirt and pants I like right Spencer. Now. He dresses well. Yeah. What? As, as in, in really as in those compliment. belong to him, or this he is, created he's those? Created this brand. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, I like. Yeah, he does drop some nice stuff. He's got mm. good vision. Yeah, no, him and Millie are mine two like bestest friends. Two closest friends. Uncle Jack as well, and then a few other people. Oh, okay, cool. But, yeah. I think it's good. I, I think it's important to have uh, friends that are outside of YouTube. You got you got any of those? Yeah. Or, or are they all no, to do with YouTube? No, I YouTube? do actually, I do, I do. We made friends with quite a few people at uni, like in London, uh -huh. um, which is quite nice. I am friends with like people back home, but I don't really feel like it's just quite the same as it ever like was, if you know what I mean. Definitely. I don't know. There's a lot no, of- I, I get what you mean. I, ca I can't ever just rock up to a party of at home people and just not feel like weird. It's weird, yeah. I don't know, people just- it's just different. you a bit strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even no, good I or bad, that. like it's just, I yeah. I see no, what's the what's going about? That's all it is, mate. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, me, me and Chip have some have some friends that are like- Yeah, I, I like, and I and, and it, it's one of the, my favorite, one of my favorite bits is when we go out and it's like, there are friends that are not 
in, you know, not YouTubers. They'll they, come they out. don't want to know what your CPM they don't, was. They don't give two fucks. And, you know, well, how the good, good people that that'll treat you like, <laughs> yeah. and, and they, it's, you don't feel weird around yeah. them. They don't really give a shit. And that's what you need. I think you need keeps you level headed, keeps yeah. you grounded, and it just it, it, it's fun to be around. No, yeah, I do like you that. need them yeah, people. It's nice. It's yeah. very refreshing. It is. It, it is. But then it's good when you go. It's it's annoying when you go to like a party. I go to like these uni parties and stuff, and you're like, yeah, I'm just just one of them friends, and then someone just comes up to you, be like, what's your vids? And you're like, oh, you could have ruined the ruined out. the vibe. Yeah, you could have said it there. low key yeah. into Wrong my time, mate. They just yeah. walk in the bathroom. You were mid church. <laughs> bathroom, what was you doing in the bathroom, man? Eh? I'm best, man. <laughs> it, was, it was 5 a.m., bro. What do you think you were yeah, doing in the bathroom? Obviously. Taking a shit. <laughs> yeah. Taking when a, a couple shit. of blokes <laughs> were in the bathroom. Well, what do you get up to with a couple of blokes in the bathroom? Just, ah, fucking no idea, man. Deep chats. Deep chats. Deep chats. Deep, Chip, Chip is a criminal for mm, deep chats. He is. Let me, let is. me live, man. Bro, Fuck, let me live. It's true, though, innit? God. It? You love it. Yeah. The smoking area, deep but chats. I'll, but I'll drop knowledge on him. 100%. I'll drop knowledge. knowledge. I'll drop a knowledge bomb here and there if I need to be. If yep. it needs be. Mm. I raised Ben Morris. He did, to be fair. He did. I was. I. You, I know, I, you, you know, I used to clean Josh's flat, like Joel's flat, like Finch's flat, Ali's flat. Yeah. Well, their rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Harry's room. Um, I remember this. So wait, explain this. So you genuinely clean their rooms? Yes. For, for how much were you charging uh, per bro, room? Pennies, bro. 30, 40 pounds. I think I, really I really remember. It was, it was bro, bro, You started off cheaper than that. I was getting deals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was getting deals. I you were left, <laughs> left and right. Yeah, because I was putting them on. How old were you at this point? I must be like 16, 16. Because you know what? The first time I think I came to Halo Tower, yeah. I somehow blagged my work experience yes. with my brother. Yeah. Oh my God. And this was when I made my first YouTube video. Because <laughs> okay. we, oh, um, we went to the pitch one time uh -huh. and everyone was filming and stuff. And I was like, oh, should I just, you know, just, just film a video? Yeah. Little 15 year old me being like, oh mate, we've got fucking Capcom Tom here. Like I'm gonna yeah, get yeah, views yeah. through the roof here. His first ever video was yeah. better than at the time, 95% of is. any, no, I'm talking nearly every YouTuber that I knew. Really? It was good. Cause he was just like the guy who had to edit off the bat for some reason. Minus my very squeaky, worryingly. Yeah, squeaky you were so annoyed. Do you remember when you and Joel oh, had a I fight? I was so annoying. Yo, him and Joel had a fight in the flat. So you've got Many Ben, fights, you've got, bro. you've got, yeah, but this one was a scrap, bro. Joel punched the wall and it, and, and it was just a hole in the wall for the whole <laughs> What was that scrap Halo. about? So I, I don't no know what idea. happened, but this was when Ben was maybe a bit shorter, very squeaky. You were about 16. What? Oh, I was in a yeah. Joel is still fight. as big as he was. And they just start scrapping in that. And I'm just like, whoa, this kid's like really small. And Joel, they're throwing each other around. Joel's a big guy. And then Ben yeah. stood against the wall. Joel just runs up to him, but he just punches the wall. And I'm like, oh shit, man. I'm just sat there. Go you're on, enjoying yeah. it. I was, like I was enjoying WWE it, but at that moment I was like, ah, oh, shit, maybe I should do something. Do you, mm. you get along with your brother or was I it, did all, is it like uh, We used to hate each other our whole lives. Not really? anymore, though. Like, we, <laughs> we ruined our parents' lives, like, genuinely. Like, we were always scrapping. He was always making me cry every single day, and then I'd scream to mum, and then he would get beat, and then I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah, that's exactly, like, yeah. And then he would then, as soon as she'd go and be straight back <laughs> on me, and we'd repeat really? the cycle. Yeah, it was awful, honestly. Uh, I think only like in the recent like year or so, like we've actually gone quite a while back in a fight. But if you put us in the same place for too long, it's right off. And if he gets drunk around me, I want to kill the guy. Really? Is that the big thing? Sorry, Joel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, Spangled MX is the most frustrating <laughs> thing in my life. I can't believe that your brother genuinely has the nickname Spangled MX. Yeah, <laughs> that guy used to it's get It's because he's like really off. tall and big, so he's hard to like, if he gets too fucked, he's hard to like, you know, like you've got your Bro, arm around your mate looking after him. You the can't do he that. He just knocks all your drinks out of my hand. All my friends are like, your brother knocks my, my drink out of my hand like two times. And I was like, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I ain't fucking paying for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you get you get along with him now, at least more so Yeah, than yeah, we're to. good now. We're good now. You know, we, we chat like about normal things but yeah we never got on as children like literally really? never it was pretty awful i think those uh, i was pretty similar character i feel building. like that's character like a bro building. i feel like, that's yeah. I feel like i have a good pain competitive brothers, now because man. of him yeah and me being a tiny little kid and him just beating the fuck out of me every single time i'm telling you it's it's better than being the only child yeah if you're an only child you're spoiled right because you never had the sibling mm. experience you don't know what it feels like to get finessed by your own blood Right, so I be like my sister used to. I've spoken about it here. Like she would finesse me all the time. She would just. I wouldn't even touch her, but yeah, because I didn't let her have the remote and her choose mm -hmm. what to watch, she would start crying and say I, I chinder. Right, <laughs> so you don't know 
what it's like to get finessed I by your own that, people. I did that, but I actually got chinned. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't even lying to my mum. No, I, I know, genuinely but, got chinned. But that's <laughs> me. You learn a lot of things by having yeah. a sibling. And I feel like that was that it, was a big it, part. It did make me like a sneaky little rat because I would just always get my brother in trouble. Really? You came up with all the little tactics. He, he used his power play with me and I just used my like, little like get mum to get angry knowledge. at him. Yeah, literally. Yeah. But no, I um, got work experience with my brother when I was like 15, year 10. I was like, uh -huh. fuck you guys, you're gonna work on a farm for a week. I'm going to London, Halo Tower. That, that was big living back then yeah, as well. Yeah, big Second. living, big living. Awesome, and I made that video at the field, like at the, Thing, whatever it was, Astro field, one day. Yeah. Spent all night editing, literally up till seven in the morning. Brother was asleep in the bed. I was just like editing away, had a pizza and um, uploaded it and it just blew the fuck up. Really? Just, like, literally How many views did it get? Do you, do you know? Or is it, it must be back like, then like 100K it must be on like It must be on like three, four, 500K now. That's like amazing. That. And it, it, bro, the subscribers were just flying through. Yeah, because this was also it, when your brother was also at, like, yeah, at he was his popping. peak YouTube Yeah, he was popping. But it was back then, you know, when you had like the 48 hour bang, like of a video. Yes. So after just 48 hours, you were just waiting and the video would either just absolutely yeah. go through the roof. Yo, remember the days the of- The algorithm uh, back then was so good. Do you remember the yeah. days of, what was it, 301? Was yeah, it 301? 301, yeah. Oh, the th a 301, 301 view lock. Mm -hmm. 301, yeah. that, that right there for me was peak YouTube. Yeah, that was yeah. when I enjoyed YouTube the most, I loved it. You know, you'd yeah. wait and if you got that 301, you was like, I'm and, you'd, and you would count how many seconds or minutes it would take to get 301 and that's how you knew your yeah. note was getting bigger. <laughs> Really? Do remember? Uh, now, they didn't yeah. have real time back then. Because we didn't they? have real time. Do you remember? Nah, but man just used to hit. You just used to slap the career mode up and be. That was because yeah, you were clear it. at the time. Like I was yeah. looking up to you. Like this guy's the gold man. Bro, the QPR career legend, bro. I still, I still I genuinely anyway. get people coming up. We ain't, we ain't brought this out in a minute. Oh lord, we ain't brought this out in a minute. minute. <laughs> What does this mean? <laughs> it's a Sambuca alarm, baby. But oh, today, no. it looks like you guys are on the patrol. Oh, yeah. We got the Sambuca. Oh, you want, you want yeah, Sambuca? Yeah, yeah, we stay original. I am swinging. Jamie uh, nodding his head. Wait, you fucking want one as well, Jamie? I've got to go out tonight as well. So I'm, I'm, well, well, I'm going to drop down. I'm going to drop down before I go out. And you, Alex. Here we go, here we go. You guys got aircon here? Jeez, or anything? Oh, this is some crusty Sambuca. <laughs> it is boiling. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, it's tinted brown. <laughs> oh, no, it's only because of the. It's because you had the other stuff in there still. Well, this is oh, to right. um... enjoy, fellas. Oh, it, look, it looks like one of Chippo's seven AM specials. Look at it. Look at the look around that. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing in there. All right, there we go. I, it's honestly the, how you guys still get branded. Well, we've got a party to go to, fellas. To so let's, let's 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 drink up. Cheer, to cheer, cheers to uh, Ben Morris being twenty-one. Yeah, amen to that. When's Not your birthday right. again? <laughs> Two weeks. Or Two a couple weeks. Of weeks. Something like that. You got a lime. Mm. I'll have a little lime. Look at that. Oh, he's, oh, he's feeling that one. That's Sambuca. Uh, I won't lie, my stomach does feel a bit dodgy. Oh, God. Absolutely. Feel... What oh. time are we at on this? Too long. 117. All right, cool. We'll do relationship advice then. Could it, can I get my phone, please? Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, that one hurt. That one's a bit dodgy, that. Really? We oh, have waffled this pod, you know. What? Welcome to is the this fellas. How this it is works. how it works. Well, we do this it every how, fucking time. All it I was is just like in my head what I was going to talk about. Not one thing. I well, think well go on. What was one thing you no. wanted to talk about? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Oh, no, I know. You know, I forgot now. Oh, you brilliant. Forgot now. You had nothing, did you? Don't you fucking worry. Yeah. You wanted to hear about like, my YouTube career or something. No, man, we already nah. talked about that. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it good. We got it good. Here we go. All right. So at the end of every podcast, we like to give other people relationship advice and they send in their problems. That's okay. Cool. So well, how would you say you are in terms of relationships? You mentioned you have an ex-girlfriend now. Would you say you're good when it comes to relationships or, or you're, I, you're cursed? I feel like while I like them, I am really good, yeah. Or while it's, yeah, no, I feel like I'm a very good, yeah. Yeah, you're good. I tried to be, I should say you are. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully <coughs> you can help. Um, For the most part. Help these people. So we've got a fella here and everything's anonymous. So if you could give him a replacement name. Okay. Go on. Give it. We need uh, for a bloke here. Yeah, a name. Any name. It's always tough. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus has messaged us. <laughs> oh, one shot. I knew. I knew he would DM us. I knew it. Right. He said. Uh, so my girlfriend of seven months just broke up because me. Uh, uh, because I was too close with my girl mates, and whenever I was at parties, I'd invite her and never. Um, and never come. What? Oh. I hate people that can't fucking do <laughs> it. It doesn't make sense. But um, yeah, so, uh, and whenever I was at party, I'd invite her and she'd never come. And there would always be a photo of me with another girl and she was never ha happy about it. Um, 
the photos wouldn't even be that bad it would just be um an armor over a shoulder pretty friendly um Bingo. now <laughs> should i distance myself from my girl mates who i'm very close to um and try and keep it civil with my girlfriend or or peppered, lad. <laughs> Um, what? You can do it. <laughs> no, I can do it on Pepsi when he's Pepsi too. Which is right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, do you think they should stay with their girlfriend or wait, go again? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I heard it. I heard it. He's I so think... bad for that as well because he's had to do this whole thing sober. sober. Right. I know he'd be pets with us. Come on. I think. I think because you definitely have this problem. I yeah, know for yeah. a fact you've had this problem. I think you just—I don't know how old this guy is, but I think your girlfriend's just a bit immature to be honest. Yeah, I, I think that it, it's okay to have girlfriends. Yeah, I yeah. think you—they—they're obviously a bit immature and maybe a bit insecure too because they care too much. About I agree. Who, if they don't trust your word of like them just being friends, yeah, they don't see the fact that you're spending your time with them in a the day. Then I don't know. You just yeah, she, maybe she's not the right girl for you to be honest. Because you can't realistically get rid of your girlfriends to be with your girlfriend. Yeah, you know well, I mean? yeah, well, I mean, I th I agree. I think it's childish. If a girl can't accept the fact that you have girlfriends, literally, she's insecure and immature, <laughs> for sure. All right, um, next up, we got a Felita. Sorry, what's her name? Sorry, um, Millie. a Felita. Millie. Millie. Yeah. <laughs> Millie has DM'd in. She said, "I'm moving to Edinburgh in the summer to live there." Uh, she's moving from Don't. Norwich. <laughs> is right? that is that bad? I mean, I, I'm not surprised she's moving from Which Norwich. Which is worse, Norwich or Edinburgh? Norwich. Oh, Norwich, for Edinburgh sure, man. Edinburgh's, Edinburgh's, Edinburgh's nice. a lovely place. Edinburgh's nice. It? Yeah. And my boyfriend thinks that we can make long distance work, but I don't even want to try. <laughs> <laughs> it's not confirmed I'm moving yet, oh, but if I am, would it be mean to break up with him? He loves me a lot and I love him too, but I feel like it would totally crush him. She is capping massively. What do you mean? She loves him. She don't even want to even try. Yeah. That is, yeah. let me tell you, oh, if shit. you're moving, if, if, if you want to move and you say, I don't even, I, I'm not even gonna try this with you, but you don't love him. Stop, no. Shut the, shut the fuck up. Oh, just break shit. up with him now, yeah. yeah, right this second. Let my boy End shine, it. let the boy shine. End it and let and you go and do go your thing. Some, some girls that respect him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I would I would totally agree with that because um, yeah, that's poor, that's, that's poor form. Starting to feel like that Sambuca is out of date, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Th this person has uh, tuned in, and his name is. Um, you got this. You got this. Go Fred. Fred. Fred said the girl I was speaking to told me you're the right person at the wrong time. What does that mean? Uh, and how should I take it? She wants to fuck the whole classmate. Oh lord, poor she, Fred. Has she been wants hit with to. Me. She wants to get around the whole town. She does. No, she likes you. She sees you as a potential future, but she wants to get around. She, she's gone through a whole phase. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. I would agree with there's, that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way around that. Have, really. you ever she, have you ever had that? Have you ever had to tell someone that you're, you're the right person, but at the wrong time? Um, no, I feel like that's something more I would receive. You would receive? Yeah, oh, I feel like okay. that's something more I would receive. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So are you a shagger at all? Do you, you get about? <laughs> are you, so you, do you get about, or would you say you keep it kind of low key? Um, you can be honest. We're a truthful podcast. I feel like since the break off my girlfriend, it's been a bit more regular than, it's a bit, than yeah, normal. That's good. But, well, a bit more regular than when I was dating my girlfriend. Well, but, I'd hope uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I I wouldn't say I'm I'm as bad as some of my best friends. Okay. Respect. One man. of my best friends. Here we go. We got a Felita. No name Chip. dropping. <laughs> Chip, no name what's dropping. her name? Uh, her name is uh, Michelle. Michelle said, "Hey guys, love the pod." So been seeing this guy for over a year, stopped talking in November as he didn't want commitment. After spending my whole birthday, uh, after spending my whole birthday weekend yeah. um, with him, um, and then three days later, he broke it off. Um, so since May, we've been staying at each other's houses. We both live with parents, going for dinners and dates, but we are still, uh, but we're still not official. What do I do? Mm. Do you reckon this guy is just keeping around cause she's convenient or do you reckon that he's just a little bit nervous about? How long has it been? It's been a while, bro. It's like a year. I need to know when they a last year? have had a proper conversation. What? Like, because they need to talk it out. Because mm. for all we know, a deep chat. Yeah, for all we know, they could just be going off. Eat, like, um, what's the word? Thinking of what the other person. Oh, thinking. You know, like, like playing mind games. Pretending like games. if they haven't had a chat for ages, they need to have a chat. So you're saying that? Uh, what do we call this girl? Martha, Michelle. No, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, Martha. Michelle, 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 Michelle needs to, what you need to do, go to this guy, sit him down, 
say how do you feel what do you want yeah you they're, like they're they're already close enough to have that chat it's not going to put them off like they need to just talk it out yeah that's the only way around it really agreed I all think. right last one here okay uh a fella his name is muhammad 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 says not advice i need uh right now boys uh but been chatting to a girl uh been chatting to a girl okay guys let me just put it this way if you guys are sending fucking DMs, proofread them. Your English fucking stinks, yeah? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, <laughs> right now, boys, been chatting to a girl for around two, three months. Yesterday found out she listens to the pod every week. Woohoo! Without fail, and I had no idea. Boys, I think I found the one. Cheers, lads. So he wasn't actually asking for advice. He just says- Shall we just name drop him so he gets- Nah, the dub? No, no, because she's gonna love it. She's no, gonna love it. This is an anonymous if she podcast. She sees the man on the fellas. I think you can name drop him. No, no, no. Okay, look, maybe look, like look. name drop like the third letter of his surname or something like that. What I will do is if she if that is the right one and you're watching this, Felita, you know he's a look, man. Look, look, look. This is man. gonna spin so many chicks. Okay, <laughs> all the Felitas watching this are gonna start looking around. Right, listen. His initials are M H. Why? Okay, so Felitas, go check your following list. Go check your followers list and see if there's an MH. Because let me tell you, that man right there might be in love with you. Yeah, we need progress pics as well. First date. First date. Yeah, we, First we're, this is our relationship now. Wait, say what? You're taking this way somewhere I didn't know it could go. Anyways, guys, that yeah. has been the Fellas Podcast. Ben, you have been a wonderful guest. Thank you very much. And we really do appreciate Thank the donation yeah, of, uh, honestly, of alcohol. taking this knife and Addison Lee felt a bit sus, to be honest. Like, <laughs> we appreciate that. Bag, but yeah, it's been fun. Anyways, from myself and Chip, you yes. want to sign it off? Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, of course, make sure to go over to Spotify and Apple. Subscribe and follow there. You can listen there. The links are in the description. Ben, thank you for coming on. You've no been worries. in our top... To, you're honestly in my top 25 favorite guests. Yeah. Fuck you. I could not lie. <laughs> Have a good one. Guys, thank you for watching. See ya.